okay so guys today we will be discussing one more important and very important topic i can say which will be asked even in interview and in production also this mostly this is used so snat and snat so there are two topics nat versus snat so guys when we discuss currently when we have a client connecting to f5 then we have three servers in our picture red green blue so this is an ideal scenario which we were using now guys by default f5 does which type of nat so let's say client traffic is ip is 192.168.1.7 f5 ip is 192.168.1.60 let's say red server is 10.2.2.30 green server is dot 31 and this one is dot 32 by default if i talk about packet flow here and here what would be my source ip and what would be my destination ip here in this packet and when f5 makes a connection with the server what would be the source ip and what would be my destination ip guys so here my source ip will be this one and destination ip will be 192.168.1.60 now if i talk about this connection what would be my source ip guys source ip will be 192.168.1.7 the same ip which is coming from client and destination ip will be any of the server based on load balancing algo okay guys so this is the default behavior when we talk about f5 traffic flow there is no snat enabled right now so if i talk about default behavior this is the default behavior and what do you think which type of nat this one is when i talk about this type of nat what do you think in this picture what is the nat which we talk so this type of nat is called d nat by default destination nat why because your source ip throughout the session is same only your destination ip is getting changed so initially destination ip was your virtual server ip and now the destination ip is pool member ip so virtual server ip is getting changed into pool member ip so that is basically it's called destination nat now guys by default f5 only supports or you can say it's called destination nat now what is the difference between snat versus nat so guys let's do this way so when i talk about nat everyone knows about nat guys nat can be many types it can be source nat it can be destination nat or it can be static nat so this nat if i talk about it is the same thing which is similar to firewall nothing is different here so what it does is when the traffic let's draw a picture for traffic flow via nat let's say guys i have a client okay then i have an f5 then i have a server node so i have two networks one is external world and one is internal network server node ip is 10.2.2.30 and here the ip address is public let's say 207.10.1.103 
So what does NAT do, guys? How the traffic flows via NAT is, if client wants to bypass, let's say my requirement is client want to bypass F5. In this picture, client want to bypass F5 and wants to send traffic of the client to directly node. He don't want load balancing behavior. He want traffic coming from public should go to directly to the server. So in this case, guys, what you need? So client needs a routable IP. So client needs a routable IP to send packet to that server node. So NAT is a problem. NAT will solve this problem in which client can make a request with the internal server directly. So what will happen? Your 2077 IP is a NAT IP you will configure. And this is the origin IP you will configure. So when you create a NAT, you need to define one thing. One is NAT address and one is the origin IP address. So in this case, connection will be inbound, guys. Same thing. There is no behavior, nothing different. So when you create a NAT, only difference is F5 only supports one-to-one -one mapping. There is no option to configure many to one. So it only supports static NAT. If many IP address, let's say I have internal servers, 10.2.2.30, 10.2.2.31, who wants to connect to internet, that is not able to, that is not possible in F5. For that, you need to enable SNAT, which we will talk about in a few minutes. So in this case, similarly, what will happen when you create a NAT, your connection will be initiated from external network through the big IP to the internal network. So only F5 is acting as a translation device. So it will translate the NAT IP address to the origin IP. So that is all about NAT, simple. Because I don't want any load balancing. I only want that client should send a traffic to a specific node. That's it. So in this case, what will happen is your NAT is a feature which only provide you one to one. Either it can be private to public. So there are two types of NAT you can apply in F5. One is private to public. That will be one to one only. And second one is public to private. And that is one-to-one -one mapping. Very important point, guys. Don't get confused. One-to-one -one mapping is only possible. I will show you why. So in this case, guys, what will happen? NAT, generally, you will not see much in picture because NAT is generally done in firewall. But sometimes if firewall is not into picture, so NAT, you can say second advantage of NAT is not an advantage, but the use case is when you don't want to use any load balancing feature. Because in this case, there is no load balancing you can perform. So that is the second use case of NAT. So when you implement NAT, guys, there is a disadvantage, guys. When client initiate a connection to F5, let's say, and when there is no net happening, what will happen? Red, green, blue. When initially by default, what will happen? Your client will connect to 192, 168, 1.60, 80. So it will connect to the single port. But when you implement net into picture, F5 NAT into picture, your all ports are open. All ports are open mean there is no way to restrict any port. Because you only need to define destination IP and origin IP, NAT IP. But when you implement virtual server in F5, it listens only on one port. With NAT, whenever the client from external network wants to connect, to internal network 
all ports are open there is no restriction so that is the problem big ip when you implement nat on big ip is it this will be open all ports for internal node so how you implement nat let me show you i will log in into f5 and i will show you 192 so that you can get an idea how you implement i will log in admin so nat all features will be coming under local traffic either nat or snat so you see here nat list so can you see guys that's why i was telling you one to one mapping is there any option of many to one let's say i have three servers 10.2.2.30 10.2.2.31 and 10.2.2.32 and i have f5 all this wants to connect to google.com to get their patch update so in this case if i want to implement many to one is it possible in f5 no in NAT, it's not possible. For that, you need to enable SNAT, which I will tell you in next topic. So here only you can create one-to-one -one mapping. So you will define here NAT, NAT address, and origin IP. So what you will say, static NAT. NAT address, let's say 8.8.8 origin ip address 10.2.2.30 or you can apply opposite your net address would be your public private and another one is public you can define that way also so this is how you implement nat it suppose only one to one natting so this thing you need to take care while you implement guys so either it can be private to public or it can be public to private both the things you can do so public to private this one is the case private to public you will give private ip here and origin ip address So that is how it performs NAT. Simple, no, nothing else you need to define. Is that simple netting one to one, that's it. Can you see there is no restriction of any port? Nothing is there. No restriction or nothing. You just define NAT that's it so your destination ip and your original ip so net address would be this one origin ip would be this one now guys you just need to define this case and just finish There is no way you can define this and or call on virtual server, nothing. So when you go to virtual server, guys, let's say I have this virtual server. You don't have any way to call NAT here, but you have SNAT. You can define SNAT. So that's why when you create a NAT, that's it. That will bypass F5. It will not go to the virtual server because you cannot call NAT on your virtual server. okay guys that is a simple way you can define that original ip and the destination ip now guys 
another picture comes into picture is snat very very important thing about snat so this was snat one to one mapping by directional in this case you need to have single single netting confirm one this one this one this three net would be configured if they want to connect with each other now let's call what is snat so this is how it falls so guys snat very very important you need to understand what is the use case of snat generally people know only one use case but there are four use cases which we will discuss 